Welcome back on the second part of Red Dead Redemption 1 playthrough. So we, with Marshall, alert, went on some whiskey business. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshall. Come on! Pull foot, Marston! I'm going. I'm I'm ready. Rustler, find some cover. This way. Help me out here. Okay, so I kill and everyone who's out me. I don't know, I would rather Hurry follow Marshall and loot some ammo. Come on then, Marston. Just make sure you don't slow me down. A little bit of free aiming. Look out! There's two behind that rock! Let's try hip fire. No, it's no hip fire! <laughs> hip fire is not working. There's our boys on the other side. Or maybe it works, but differently somehow, I don't know. Watch out! More of the bastards! That bastard won't be rustling no more! Christ alive! Oops. Uh, uh, uh oh. <laughs> Let's try it again. I killed Marshall previously. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm giving you one last chance to put your hands in the air. Put down your gun and surrender. I see one of them. There's one more for the vultures. You got one. Don't see anyone. Let's go. Let's go. Come on! Let's get these sons of bitches! You think them idiots! Here you go, buddy. And we killed them all. Get those thieving bastards! There he is. That bastard won't be rustling no more. Oh my good god! You're just about dead! I can hear more gunshots. Quick, let's go help my deputies. Let's go. Finish those sons of bitches! No, 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 no. Almost dead. A spot as any. Gather around, listen up. Let's try to sneak up on them. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for it. Not sure why we're sneaking around if we were shooting like a few seconds earlier. So they should have known that we are close. Get no Surrender! Or I'll kill you all! 
And now we have action. It's a sniper, I believe. I think that's all of them. Fine shoot, boys. Now come on, let's untie those hostages. Let's go. We sh we should do it. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank You're you. welcome. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You can say that again. But one other thing, Marston, Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. I like this Marshall like more it? and more. Like... Nice, more money. Anyway, now let's go and pay Bonnie a visit, because maybe she has some important mission for us. Let's go! Let's go. Here we are. Okay, I know it's a late night, but... Come back between... Okay, so I guess I need to go back and sleep. Okay, here we go. Now it's morning, or maybe even afternoon. But anyway, let's go and check what kind of business Bonnie McFarlane has. This is Armadillo, oh, USA. Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies, and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Take the driver's seat, come on! Oh, I, Abigail is in such trouble. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I have this nice small talk, but I want to say something, you know, since the I events... Kind of funny. I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You 
have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, oh please. we are. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Sorry. Anyway, I was saying that John became much smarter since the second part. You know, since the event of second part of Red Dead Redemption 2. He talks much smarter and he acts in some situations, not in all, but smarter. And also this wagon is extremely fast. Like, super fast. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. Okay. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Let's go and visit the doctor. He cured Holera. He can that cure can us as well. Talk to doctor. Yeah, take. To them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Thank Much you. Obliged. Do I need to, to, to eat it? Okay. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to You're enjoy welcome. the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Never lost a single piece of merchandise. Okay, so there are stagecoaches loading and unloading behind the for a freight station. Do, do, do. Okay, now let's go and get another mission for Marshall. Here we go. Stage. Uh oh. Old Excuse window. Me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Doesn't looks like. Mister, you alive? Any more? Oh, I mean. God oh. damn it! Good heavens! Excuse me. I said no. I'm not okay. <laughs> Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. <laughs> Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. Okay. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? Head for Armadillo, friend. What is your name, friend? John Marshall. 
good God! Not of a frying pan into the fire! Excuse me! How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The oh, that's good. The Walton's gang! I know who you are! Good Lord! It's those scoundrels once again! Uh oh. You're killing me! Get back on the damn road! No, 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 don't worry. Oh, so autopilot trick works here as well. While aiming, we have this autopilot mode. Is that all of them? Praise me! There's still hope! Uh oh, no. Look out, John! More of them! We're never gonna make it with one horse! What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Hoodlums! The scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die! I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They seem a man in a well-cut suit if this happens. Is that Armadillo? Come yeah. on, hurry! So that's it. So that's Armadillo, don't worry. I guess no one will attack us. It's a city. Let's go. Not too fast, sir. I thank you. I'm not sure I'll make it. If we don't get you to a doctor soon, you definitely won't make don't it. Don't worry. Death. I embrace you. This is it. You're gonna make it. Oh, oh, where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but <laughs> I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for, for. Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. And we helped him. Fame increasing. Let's see what kind of mission she has for us today. Woman and cattle. Here is Mr. a woman. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. <laughs> Too complicated. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder as a substitute for having anything interesting to say. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Okay. Miss McFarland. I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. 
Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, you said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. She's so heating on John, like... So obviously. somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're, they're lucky to have a man like Careful! You're more of a hindrance than a help. <laughs> Hello, mister. Huh. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Now we have this true cowboy mission. Uh oh, no. Mission completed. Accomplished. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. See ya. Only five dollars. Yeah, she she literally needs more money. These parts. Okay, let's travel with a stagecoach to Armadillo. Take me to 
Eight dollars. Well, that's expensive. And slow. And expensive. I'm just gonna have a rest. Yeah, let's sleep. Got you there, sir. You're welcome. Eight dollars. Let's see, maybe now Marshall will agree to do something about Bill Williamson. Extremely dangerous and stupid bandit. Spare the rod. Okay, what's going on? Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not yes. particularly. No. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? Sure. All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. As always. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. John Marston loves to kill. He's not coming with us. Hey, wait up! Yeah, that's better. And again, we're gonna kill bandits. Like, I, I love right, gameplay. Well, Killing bandits. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel mouth bunko artist I've never met. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. Might just be a dead critter. Marston, take a look. Eli, you too. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Come on. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Looks ugly. Really brutal. Man, this don't look too good. You say it. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Actually, it's a nice gun. Winchester repeater. So, in this part, Winchester is Winchester, not Lancaster. I like it. Woman is here, guys. Why everyone oh. ignores? Uh, yeah. Anyway. Man, more dead bodies, and the fire still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on. Uh, guys, we we just missed that woman. She she was. Uh, Let's pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches! Oh no. If you want to run a gang of outlaws, arson. Yeah, but not like that. 
wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. That's true. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? You know as well as I do, Marshal. One way or another, some men gotta die. This is too quiet. I got a bad feeling about this. Split up and search the area. John, you check the buildings in the barn. Yeah. I'm gonna search here, guys. Shed's clear, Marshal. Now I'm afraid it's a trap. No one here. Let's take a look what is in the barn. There's no good reason for that to be boarded up. Break that door down. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Lancaster, I mean Winchester, is so good. Oh no. Uh oh, that's really ugly. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> this has gone far enough. Let's go, let's kill them all. Hide. Oh, brother. Hold it right there. I'm all close. We need to get into that house right now. See anybody? Okay, they should be upstairs. Ain't you a pretty little thing? You're gonna be all right. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. That was Keep your head close. Down. They did unspeakable things to me. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Oh. Someone might as well have this. That was a tough mission. Jump! Uh. Let's go and check uh, who, who's alive. Come on, they're gonna get away! Oh, there! 
Wait, wait, horse. Wait for me. Let's just say he's anyway, Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bearing in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we've moved past the family part. Come! Eyes up! You see that? Uh-oh. You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> You know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. Watch your head. You got a problem with me? Nobody uh, that was Beal, actually. So it's like I got him. Pretty sure that Beal should be dead. Oh no, actually I have enough now. Four of them coming down the hill. Nobody leaves that jack. Maybe someone else will be shooting. Thank you. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. I'm not going to say his name because Hog time. I will mispronounce Let's get him it. To jail. Now we are, we are getting closer to Bill Williamson. Anyway, guys, if you are looking for other parts of this playthrough, you're gonna see it on your screen right now. And with that being said, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, до свидания, and see you after day when there will be next part of this Red Dead Redemption 1 playthrough. So stay healthy.